In this video, I'm going to show you how to get notified when someone fills out a form on your Squarespace website. If you've been following along my Squarespace pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you haven't grabbed that checklist yet, I'll drop a link below so you can get it. My name's Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator, and we're gonna kick off today with adding your email address to a form so you can get notified when someone fills it out. I'm here in my scribe template for authors. If you're interested in checking out this template or any others, my template shop, I'll drop a link below. When you purchase a Squarespace template from a designer, or if you're using one of the free templates from Squarespace, chances are it already has a contact form on there for you. But if not, you can edit any page, add a block and add a form. And if you double click this form, there are lots of options here for you to design the form, you can change the form fields, all that good stuff. But this template already has one set up for you. And one thing that I wanted you to notice was before I went into edit mode, this had a red box around it. And that means, we click this, that it needs a storage option. And we're going to add your email address so you get an email notification when someone fills out this form. So let's Go ahead, go back into edit mode, double click our form, go to storage, and then here where it says email notification, you're going to type or paste in your email here, connect it up. Once you've entered in your email, you're going to click back. You'll notice your email is here. Go ahead and hit exit, and our red box is gone, so you should be receiving an email notification when someone fills out your form. Now, go ahead and test it out yourself by dropping in all the required fields and hitting submit, and then check your email. Make sure that that came through to your email. But if you're not seeing it there, double check that you spelled your email correctly. That's something that I've done wrong before, and test it out again. Now, what happens if your email goes down? What if you don't have access to your email and you want to know who's been filling out your contact form? What have you missed? So hop into contacts and then you'll see all of your form submissions listed here. And if we click on it, we can see it's from Christy Price. This is the email that I entered in on the form and the form details we can click through and click contact form and you can see exactly what i wrote into the form so my name my email the subject line and the message all of those are here for you just in case now if you want to get fancy and we hop in here there are some other storage options too you can go to additional storage and connect zapier mailchimp or google drive but i found that most of my clients are happy with just this email notification letting them know when they have a form submission and once you receive that in your inbox if you hit reply it will go to the email that the person entered in. So you don't have to start a new email. You can just hit reply and answer any questions they have. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like, drop a comment below. It helps me grow my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.